What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. As you can see, we have a brand new celebration ahead of us on Global Blooming Cherry Blossoms Spring Training Special Campaign. Now I for one am very excited to put the last celebration behind us because it was really just not very nice to me. 1500 stones, a lot of those on the 3 plus 1 discounts, no Gogeta, no Broly, no easy Broly, Tech God Coup, you guys know the drill. Basically, it was just one of the worst shafts, maybe the worst shaft I ever experienced in Dokkan. And I'm very excited to put it behind us, literally because Gogeta Blue is right behind me. You guys might have noticed I have a brand new layout that was made for me by Emmanuel on Twitter. Make sure to go check him out. He is a very talented dude. And some of you might be like, yo, Tiger, why are you doing this to yourself? Man, you're constantly reminding yourself that you didn't pull the Gogeta, but that's the point, right? Because I'm trying to do this no summons thing. So constantly reminding myself of how hard his banner as well as the Broly banner shafted me will get me to not summon until fourth year. I'm still sticking to that plan. Hashtag no summons gang. Let's do it, but let's check out this celebration. I've already talked too much guys. So Blooming Cherry Blossoms Spring Training Special Campaign begins. A series of various events are available. An opportunity to recruit SSR Vegeta from the new Prime Battle event. Perfect, that's LR Vegeta, the int one. Really good unit, very, very excited to get him. Grab the chance to token awaken him into an LR, perfect. On top of that, various story events, special events, and world tournament will also be available. So pretty standard stuff, but let's check out specifically what they're talking about. Okay, so number one, we have the login bonus. So I don't know how many stones a day, we'll check that out in just a second. Uh, number two is special mission so more stones there as well as you know some kai's some training items some medals all that good stuff number three dragon stone sale so one at 32 i mean sorry one 32 stone pack at 50 percent off i mean that's a good deal but only one is kind of upsetting i wish they gave us a couple more and also 91 stone packs at 20 percent discount so nothing too special there and only three times for that as well i mean there's not really a super exciting banner for this celebration the next one should give us agl meta cooler but it doesn't look like we have a new dokkan fest for this one okay number four is the waifu banner and we will be getting the entry brand as well as this physical chi chi and uh you know what she's actually a decent unit from what i can see and she is the best leader possible right now for int i mean sorry for her <laughs> i was gonna say for int rubrian i'm like i guess that's true but she's the best peppy gals best peppy gals leader so if you guys want to run that team to its most optimal state right now then she's the one to go for Number five, we have the return of the Rebrian event, and uh, she's actually getting a Dokkan Awakening, so she's actually going to be pretty, pretty solid. By the way, with the Girl Power banner, there's also going to be the Dokkan Awakenings for the four waifu cards, the Tech 18, AGL Mai, STR Pan, as well as uh, Int Videl. So all of them are getting Dokkan Awakenings on Global, finally. They're really, really good Dokkan Awakenings, so get excited for that. Number six is the return of the Raditz event, which of course denotes that a world tournament is coming right around the corner, which we'll see in just a second. Number seven is the return of the Hero of Justice Saiya Man event. Number eight is the return of the Tech Bulma event, and she's actually a very good tank. If you guys haven't farmed her yet, I would definitely recommend doing it. She helped me a ton with the Pepe Gal Super Battle Road stage, and it's uh, pretty difficult to clear it without her, so definitely make sure to farm her up. She's also completely free to rainbow because she does have her own orbs. Number nine is the Wrath of the Dragon event to get those Tapion flutes. And uh, I forgot what else you can get from this event, maybe a specific unit or something like that, but... I totally forgot, so we're gonna move on. Number 10, Prime Battle Event with the LR Vegeta. So expect a lot of streams for that because I will be farming this guy up as soon as possible, rainbowing him and uh, just having fun running him because he's an awesome unit. Number 11, Legendary Summon. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku featured banner coming on the 7th. Um, this is gonna be a hard skip for me. Hard skip for me. Now there's two definitions to hard here because on the one hand, I really want LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku because I don't have him. But on the other hand, I hate legendary summons banners. I think they're traps and they've shafted me very, very bad in the past. And I think I've learned my lesson. So even though I want LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku very, very bad, definitely one of my most desired units on this account. I'm going to have to say skip. For me, you guys can make your call, but I mean, don't be surprised 
if you do get shafted if you want to summon then good luck to you i mean i wish you the best of luck i don't want anybody to get shafted i'm just saying um you know it could be bad okay <laughs> number 12 we have the return of well 12 and 13 we have a couple of gt events returning and uh number 14 is the genius bomos battle prep which of course is for this world tournament right here 26th world tournament we have a brand new physical future gohan as well as still Tien and Yamcha, no not Tien and Yamcha, I was think I'm thinking about Yamcha because I want Yamcha but we're not getting him yet, still Tien and Chaozu I believe for the local reward, but this new Gohan is interesting, I'm not sure what he does but we'll find out soon, and uh, number 16 is a world tournament support pack, it's not even worth talking about, it's a peel off trove thing, it's a trap, so there you go guys, LR Vegeta is the main thing, uh, Waifu Awakenings obviously, and uh, nothing else too exciting to be honest, but hey, let's check out the training uh, special mission. No, let's go to the login bonus first. Login bonus, one a day. Okay, one a day, some orbs, some kites. Okay, so not too exciting to be honest. <laughs> All right, moving on to the missions. Let's see how many stones we get here. So in total, we get one stone every day and two stones here, six stones here. So a total of eight stones plus I don't know, like 15 stones for every single day. I don't know how many days, to be honest. Um, but yeah, maybe 15, 20 stones from that. Okay, so overall, I'd say it's not the most exciting celebration. <laughs> I'm still very hyped for LR Vegeta, that's for sure. I'm very excited for the Peppy Gals Awakenings. Um, and either way, I'm just glad the Broly and Gogeta stuff is going to be over soon. I mean, or is it already over? Are the banners already gone? I don't know. But... Man, they were bad for me on Global. For all of you who had good luck, congratulations. But I, for one, am very happy that we have this spring training special campaign going on. And the one that comes after, whatever it is, I expect will drop AGL Cooler. And the one after that, or maybe two after that, is going to be the Int Goku Black. And then, you know, not soon, or not long after that, rather, um, we will be getting the four year anniversary on global, which is when your boy tiger will start summoning again for the time being If you guys are still summoning best of luck to you If you are part of the hashtag no summons gang like me and you've decided to commit and join the gang then definitely uh, Stay strong guys <laughs> stay strong. I mean the four year banners are absolutely insane. They're definitely gonna be worth the wait and uh, You know do what you have to do to make sure that you save those stones keep those stones you know, just, just save from all those evil banners that would try to steal them. But that's all I got to say today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it useful, interesting, whatever it is. And as always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell so YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all of my latest content. Also, you guys might have noticed that there's a join button beside the subscribe button now. Basically, you can become a member of the channel. And this is for people who want to go above and beyond, you know, go further beyond in supporting the channel with a monthly donation. You'll get a special badge beside your name during live streams as well as uh, a feature on my channel as, you know, kind of a lead member of the Tiger Squad, someone who really supports the channel a lot of course it's 100 percent optional you guys don't have to do it and if it's not your thing it's totally cool i'm not gonna be upset but that's all i gotta say guys you're freaking awesome for watching thank you thank you so much have an awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out